Welcome. It's Wednesday, yes? All right, good morning. Good morning. So KGW is here. We can wave. This is life in prison. So on our list is appearance, customer service. If you have a retail store, professional shop, yes. Business name. More specifically, this is the LIFE program, a 32-week course that teaches women at Coffee Creek Correctional Facility how to start a small business. Dora's going to man our emotional regulation. We're going to do that. Every Wednesday morning, they start with something most of these women have never tried, meditation. Feel your eyebrows resting. Your forehead is becoming relaxed and smooth. Let your shoulders gently sink downward. Every day we start with like emotion regulation and, and at first I thought that was kind of dumb, but uh, you know, close your eyes and pretend you're at the beach or wherever, you know, someone's talking really monotone and slow. But you kind of get into it after doing it for a little while. Become more relaxed with each breath kind of just brings us together as a group, a couple minutes of quiet, which is hard to get in this place. Gently open your eyes, feeling alert, calm, and full of energy. Okay, what'd you learn from your focus groups, anything? Then, your business idea is good, business class can okay. begin. But it's important to have your niche market. And what can you tell me about the LIFE program? LIFE program is amazing. It's really personal, it's really vulnerable to start a business. The LIFE program, or Lifelong Information for Entrepreneurs, is run and funded by Mercy Corps Northwest. So you're gonna tell your partner really what your business is. It's just outstanding that they offer it here. Most of the women in it are less than two years from getting out of prison. It is okay to end relationships. And to prepare, they also work on changing how they see themselves. It's okay. It teaches you a different way to think, teaches you about success, it teaches you, um, you can take things from like business uh, prospects and turn it into life prospects. Each woman in the LIFE program has an idea for a small business or a nonprofit. I want to start a nonprofit organization. I'm going to title it Living and Surviving Off the Land. I've learned how to crochet and I uh, can put anything like in a blanket. So I was thinking about doing um, personalized baby blankets. So my business plan is I want to be a part of an advocacy program for the justice involved. Um, I personally do not think um, prison should be the only option. Uh, for most, your customer base should. Month after month. We're going to talk only about our own businesses. Yeah. We watched as they exactly. drew up budgets. What do you need? Y'all got this? Financial records? Discussed kind of yeah. marketing right. campaigns and consumer demos and practiced their pitch. My business. To investors. I'm going to start adolescent age kids to get the opportunity to learn survival skills. It's going it be job sourcing. Every detail Addition, matters. Um, resources and help, inpatient treatment. To start a business, you're going to have to figure out all of the money that you're going to need to, like, for your phone, for your computer, for your insurance, for your office space. And so it kind of really gets you brainstorming about all the physicalities of what you're going to need to start a business. These are just a couple of blankets that I've made. Uh, By April, Amy was showing us photos mm -hmm. of her inventory. These are just a couple that I've made. Ah, this is my friend's grandson. He loves the Ghostbusters. We've also spent our entire lives being told who we are. Yeah. They also acknowledge starting a business is hard. Starting one when you're just out of prison is harder. I'm sure I'm gonna get out and probably end up at a fast food restaurant for a little bit, because that's just what I do, you know? But also be marketing that whole time. You know what I mean? While I'm there, oh, I'm taking an order, but I'm talking to you about what I plan to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then they're like, oh, well, hey, when you start doing that, give me a call. As a matter of fact, let me give you my name and my number. Slowly, the business plan Ooh. becomes part of a larger plan. And I'm branching out. out. I'll be branching out outside. We make a plan in the class about our transition, what it's going to look like, you know, right down to little things that we wouldn't normally think of. Here are the words. And deep down. Achiever. This is the point of life. We really ask each person to go through each of these areas of life and create a post-release plan. Whether that's um, 
your plan for employment, your plan for relationships, your plan for self-care. Life's transition plan lays out specific to-do lists for the day these women leave prison, then for 30 days later, and then for 60 to 90 days later. So if you take a real simple idea like medication, before I get out, my plan is gonna to be to talk to the doctor in here about which pharmacy I'm going to send my medication to when I get out. And then it's gonna be, you know, 30 days post-release, it's gonna be, you know, go to that pharmacy, make sure my medication's there my first day, so by the time I need it, I make sure I have it. It's gonna be figure out my insurance to see how much my insurance will pay for that medication. And then 60 to 90 days, it's gonna be stabilize myself on my medication, make sure that I have a job, or make sure I have a type of income that will be able to support it. Sounds great. <laughs> the problem is, for a lot of women here, planning and following through on their plans isn't something they're used to. But I think it's hard for them to shift their mind from, I'm a person who's at the whim of the experience I'm having right now, versus I'm a person who can take charge of my life, who will take charge of my life. This is it. So they build a very real business plan. I'll be selling the stuff that normally Alaskans would be buying. And in the process, become familiar with detail. Why are customers going to come to your business? Patience. Um, Vanessa here would like to start an advocacy program for women and children in the Salem area. Budgets. Yeah. All of the things they'll need. I didn't understand the, what I was going to learn until it came. You know, to rebuild their lives. Yeah. But think really critically about who your market is. As a bonus, the class comes with credits from yeah. Portland Community College. They take me saying to you, I went and got a degree and now I'm looking at the world a little differently. Can you support me? Over the eight month course, yeah. confidence <laughs> takes shape. <laughs> You do see it happen over time, especially with a program that takes this long. Like, you don't see it in the beginning, but over time you see people start opening up and just letting um, who they are come out and you just learn so much from another, one another. Okay. And it What's appears to be working. Staff at Mercy Corps Northwest started life in 2012. They wanted to help women fresh out of prison avoid homelessness and addiction and avoid ending up back in prison. Nationally, 37% of men and women released from prison are reincarcerated within three years. In Oregon, that number drops to 19%. Among the women who have so far graduated from life, 9.7% have ended up back in prison after three years. Even for the most confident of women, prior to envisioning herself as a boss, a lot can happen when you introduce someone to the idea that they could be that if they so want to be. One thing that's happened, life's popularity has blown up. Next year, they're adding more classes. You remember those characteristics that we talked about, about entrepreneurship? And for the first time ever, they've taken life to a men's prison, Columbia River Correctional Facility. It started this past spring. Yeah. For what it's worth, this class. I'm going to talk about um, graduation. The plan had 79 applicants for 29 spots. We're just in this cage where we think that people don't think about us, we think that people forgot about us, and that's not the case at all.